Pleasant morning to all the dignitaries. Warm greetings to everyone over here to this propitious occasion. Entrepreneurship is living a few years of life like most people won't. So you can spend the rest of your life like most people can't. It's indeed an honor for me to welcome you all on behalf of KS Rangasamy College of Arts and Science ICSSR sponsored two day national seminar on innovative startups for young entrepreneurs in digitalized era. Our institution has always endeared to impart morality to the students, which is very important and indispensable. <laughs> Yeti sayum puhal manaka in the perum tamilanange tamilanange un si rila mai tiram vian de sayel marang de vatu dume vatu dume vatu dume. Thank you. Assistant Professor of Department of Business Studies to the stage for addressing welcome speech. Ma'am, please. The blessing of Almighty God, Deva Thiru, La Doctor K. Sangasami, MGF. I feel happy to welcome to you all for the ICSSR sponsored today national level sem national day seminar on Innovation Startup for a Hand of Honor in Digital Era. It's my pleasure to welcome our chairman, sir, Mr. R. Rang Srinivasan, Srinivasan, sir, Vice Chairman, Mr. Sachin, Executive Director, Madam. Kavita Srinivasan in absence here. I feel happy to welcome Dr. V. Radha Krishnan sir, Principal, K.S. Rangaswamy College of Art and Science, Atanamas, in absence for his supports. It's my privilege to welcome resource, resource person, Dr. V. Girimurugan, Assistant Professor, K.L. Business School, K.L. University, Andhra Pradesh. We are happy to that sir, he has accepted our invitations and travel to long to address that as well. Welcome, sir. I am glad to welcome Dr. P. Vanita Ma'am, head of the department, Department of Management Studies, Dr. M. Baskar, head of the department, Business Administration, for being with us in all our effect. I am happy to welcome all the head, head of the departments, faculty members, students, for our college and other institution to glorious this day. Once again, welcome to you all. Thank you very much, ma'am. It's a privilege to invite our honorable chief guest, Dr. B. Giri Murugan, sir, assistant professor, KL Business School, KL University, Andhra Pradesh. We are fortunate to have you with us today, sir. Now it's time to honor our respected resource person. For that, I request Dr. P. Vanita Ma'am, Head Department of Business Studies, convener of the seminar, and Dr. M. Baskar, sir, Head Department of Business Administration, Organizing Secretary of the seminar, KSR CAS Autonomous, to honor the dignitary. Professor K.L. University, Guntur. 
Giri Murugan, Dr. Giri Murugan has completed BLC uh, from Vasavi College and MBA from Nandanjali College and MPhil PhD from completed from Bardia University. Dr. Giri Murugan has a versatile experience in uh, industry, research, academic and training. So Sir started as a junior merchandiser, Eastman Exports Global Clothing Private Shim India Limited Tirupur and he became a professor in Mahendra Engineering College and assistant professor in Nanda Engineering College and he also became an assistant associate professor from Nanda Engineering College. Sarus has the versatile uh, experience in uh, publications also, the international and uh, uh, national journals are most presented in 35 and almost presented in papers, national, international and state level conferences 24. So, and the workshops and faculty development program also uh, Protected and organized, so almost 17 programs. So I hope the sir also served as an IQSC cell member and the chair of entrepreneurship cell and organizing the many club activities. So the, I, there is no time to go to entire things. So definitely this session, sir is going to make enlightened for you people. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you sir. A great personality makes everyone that freshens up the complete surrounding. I am delighted to invite our resource person, Dr. B. Giri Murugan Sir, KL Business School, KL University, Andhra Pradesh, to enlighten the students with his precious words. Sir, please. So, very good morning. So, I am very happy to stand before you all. The reason is that uh, after four years of experience in uh, other state, uh, again I am back to our hometown because of uh, the organizing such kind of seminar in this uh, STEM University Institute. Okay. And another thing is that uh, country like India, all people are aware that uh, why startup is essential at the right time. Why startup is being focused more by the government of India, especially country like India. Any idea about it? Any idea about it? So, every time they are talking about uh, to bringing in entrepreneurial activities, now they can be creating an awareness from the college level itself. They are bringing global companies to visit investment in India. You know, what is the reason behind that? One is with economic growth. One is for economic growth of the nation. Any other thing is there? Any other thing is there? What is the strength of India? All people are aware that right? uh, the strength of Indian nation is the population. The strength of Indian nation is population almost it has been come across with uh, 140 plus crore. In that 140 crore, you know about the population size of youth? The youth population size, I am asking about the age group of 25 to 40. Almost 60 percent of our Indian population is being stands between the age group of 25 to 40. So it is a huge responsibility of the government to bring in or to giving an employment opportunity to each and every one to be a job person or to be an entrepreneur or to be some kind of activity they have to be engaged. If all are looking, 60, I said about uh, 25 to 40 percentage of the population is being always looking for a job, then who is going to provide the job? Who is going to take a step forward as an entrepreneurial activity? So it is the biggest question mark, that is the only reason the government is always focusing more on entrepreneurship. That is the one and only reason they should be always promoting of entrepreneurship. And now they are more to the entrepreneurship to start. Okay. Startup, you know very well about that. Uh, before 20 years, we don't we doesn't find uh, any kind of new things in the business. But at present situation, it has been totally changed. At present situation, it is totally changed. You can go, I just uh, before go for the topic and go with some uh, a brief introduction about the after the independence. All are going uh, about our Indian nation, we are being concerned with uh, some other is been, that is British has been ruling, ruling us for 200 years, they are totally vanished and looting up our entire resources and move back. After 1947, we doesn't have any kind of scope first. 
After 1947, we does not having any kind of scope. We strongly, country like India has been strongly depending only on the agricultural activities. Apart from agricultural activities, nothing is there. One and only primary activities of Indian nation is only agri activities. So days goes on. But other countries have been grown well, they have been strong in technology, they are concerned with different different innovative projects and they have been strong in building their infrastructure, everything they are doing in a well manner. But country like India, we doesn't have strong knowledge, I am talking about the period of 1940s after independence. We doesn't have any such kind of knowledge in technology. But we are also not ready to invite some other nations, so that is with the global countries, companies to India because of our better experience. Already we have been almost slave for 200 years, so we can't able to <coughs> do any kind of things at the time. We are focused only on agricultural activities. But it is not enough because day by day, Indian nation population has been increased. If you are still stick on only with the particular thing, agricultural activities, definitely country like India has been going to be struggle. So it, it has been founded by the previous prime ministers also. That is the reason. From that time onwards, they will be focused on to bringing some kind of, to starting any uh, manufacturing industries. You know that uh, in Tamil Nadu also, you know about Gindi. Okay, you know about Gindi. You know about sales steel plant. These all things can be comes for giving an employment opportunities as well as to bringing the people to do work in the specific areas. So that time also they are focusing only on manufacturing. They are not strong in the technology. We doesn't having any kind of ideas. What kind of new technology is there? We doesn't having any idea. That time country like India, you know about population is more, it is very very tough to handle the population without any kind of activities except agriculture. So days goes on, almost 30 to 40 years they should be focused only on manufacturing sector. They are not moving on to any other, they are not moving on to any other. Up to 1990s India doesn't have any all different varieties of brand, very very few. You can take it as an automobile, it is very few. It is very few, I am talking about the period of 1990s, only Marti is there, Hindustan Motors is there, Premier Bhatmi, the is there. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, no brands are available. Companies are ready to invest in India, but the problem is we people, we in the sense the government is not ready to allowing to take such kind of things. Because already people have been entered to trade to India, but what happened? What happened? Almost 20, 200 years, we are struggling like anything. So that is the reason, again government is being hesitant to inviting the global Asian companies to invest in India. But after that, uh, new industrial policy, okay, new industrial policy, after that, 1991, government is also been thinking about to bringing some kind of companies to India, then only it is being supported for employment and as well as being transforming the technology. 1991, they should come out with the new industrial policy with the LPG, liberalization, privatization, globalization. What is the ultimate aim or objectives of the particular program. Thing is that, first thing is they have to be liberal first. There is a huge restriction for the foreign companies to invest in India. So they have to liberalize the policies first. After that, then only the companies can be invested to India. Then, I said up to 1991 in India also, there is very very few companies having some kind of manufacturing activities. All other things are comes with mostly with government companies. Okay, they doesn't having uh, any kind of sources. So if it is the condition, I said every time the population is being increasing regularly, every time it is being a huge threat for a nation like India. So if it is the condition, definitely they have to relax the policies for the global companies to invest in India. The time they'll be start to think of it after NPA. They are reducing the uh, policies and all and come to that inviting all the companies to India after 1991. This has been happened after 1991. After that, you know that what are the, you, now you people are aware of almost all those things. Almost all those things you are aware of it. 
what other things are being there, what kind of product is being there, almost everyone is being enjoying with such kind of things. So, that time, I am talking about 1991 also, we are depending on the other nation. They are depending on only on the other nations. But what is the problem? Again, our revenue, our people can be hard effort and our people can spending and taking can we go for the some other nation. But why we are giving such kind of things? What is the reason? Again, because we are lacking technology. You are lacking technology. You know about the hero and Honda, right? Now there is both are separated, hero and Honda. But hero is, you know, you know that hero starts with the bicycle manufacturing. We doesn't having any kind of idea how to make a motorcycle. So if it is the condition, so if it is the condition, obviously we need to knowing about what kind of technology they are following. So they are collaborated with Japan and with the support of Hero and Honda, with the Honda, both are tied up with 20 years and making a motorcycle. Now Hero is also stand on their own foot because now they have been well in technology also. Okay, they are well in technology also. So this is the condition, every time we are highly depending on some other nation, then who is going to be safeguard our country? Who is going to be safeguard our country? So if it is the reason, definitely companies has to be giving some kind of fundings, everything. People are having an idea. So in India also, depends upon the state, their opinion is being totally different. If you can take as a Tamil Nadu, mostly people are not preparing for starting any kind of industries or starting up any kind of startup. But you can go for some other technical area. You can take it as a Bangalore. You can take it as a Andhra Pradesh. You can take it as a Delhi. You can take it as Bangalore. In Bangalore, mostly they are having some innovative ideas. They are having some technical knowledge. Based on that, they should come out with bringing some kind of startup and initiative and running the shows. But uh, still in uh, Tamil Nadu, we does not have such kind of ideas to bringing or to creating or to start a, any kind of startup, still we are lagging that. At present in India, there is a top 20 startup is there. Out of this 20, you can not go for 20, you can out of 10, Seven startup is being started in Bangalore itself. Rest of the three is from Mumbai. Imagine that. We are having a population of 141 crore people, but out of it, all startup has been succeeded from the area like Bangalore. Mumbai, three startup. Okay. Rest of them, they have to know what is startup, what kind of thing is being supported, needed to promote for the next level. So if it is the condition, they are looking at support from the government, not only the government. Okay. They are looking for a private support also. Now we can come to that start. So country like India is been highly need to go for startup. The reason is that they have to create an employment opportunity to the youth population. I'm talking about the age group of 25 to 40. Okay. You just imagine that. There is uh, no colleges or there is no chip card in Tirundari, just for an imagination. How they can be getting a job? Up to that, we are struggling like anything. Now, they are also been transforming from agricultural activity to enroll as an employee in some other organization. Imagine that the government is not at all taking any kind of effort or support to, to starting a, some kind of, uh, such kind of projects in uh, chip card. Definitely, it is been giving a huge struggle to that people. One is with we need economic development and another one is that we have to create an employment opportunity to the people. In India almost 974 universities there. 974 universities not a colleges. From this 974 university you just imagine that per year minimum 40 to 45 lakhs of graduates either it is a technical or a science background people is being keep on Come out, from the, come out from the colleges, then who is going to provide a job? Per year, 45 lakhs to 50 lakhs, people can be step out as a graduate or a postgraduate, then who is going to provide a job? Instead, for 
if it is a condition, why the, why the government is not focusing more on manufacturing, why they should be focusing more on startup? You know that last 10 days before, there is an MOU between Tamil Nadu government versus, uh, with the uh, Nizam. I hope uh, people those have been read the news in this uh, paper. They are extended the factory with uh, 3,300 crores. You know how much employment opportunity is going to be get with the support of 3,300 crores? Only 2,000. They are investing 3,300 crores, but with that huge investment, only 2,000 people will be getting an employment opportunity in Riza. So manufacturing, if we are focused on the same thing, same way, it is not been creating a big employment opportunities. That is the only reason they need startups to come for providing a job for the youth population. Okay, I'll go with some slide. Go with some promoting only with the business. The business definitely taking more time for scalable. So there is a lots and lots of issue in that. That is the only reason the government is being come forward and take an initiative to promote a startup ideas from the end mind. We just check with that uh, startup companies. Mostly they are age group is under 30. Within a short duration of span of time, the business is being scaled up and giving an employment opportunity to the more number of people. Uh, you can take it as an e-commerce segment. Okay, you just take it as an e-commerce segment. I said PNS. Okay. PNS. Problem needs solution. It is a management concept. Problem is always needing some kind of solution. What kind of problem faced by India? Employment opportunities more, youth people is being more. Definitely, we need to provide job for each and everyone, those who are having a caliber. So there is a problem, definitely, we need to provide some kind of solution. Solution, if still we are go with manufacturing sector, it takes more time and at the same time they couldn't able to provide job for the all the uh, graduate of the people. So immediately now they are moving to the next level to start up. Before I'm going to start up, you know about in 2016, June, up to June 2016, only 452 startup has been registered. Okay, up to 2016, we, we in the sense Indian people or doesn't have such kind of ideas to bring in a startup companies in India. But now it is real time need. Government is also being focused more on this startup. They are ready to find every support, everything can be provided by the government. Now the one and only thing is that you have to come out with some startup with innovative ideas. In 2022, I said in 2016, only 452 startup has been registered. Only 452. And in 2022, 82,000 plus startup has been registered in India. You just imagine that within a four plus three, seven years, uh, yes, six years. What is the changes? So the reason is that now they are getting a lot of platform. If I, I, I don't know whether my business is going to be succeed or not, but I have an idea. Who is going to be supported? Who is going to support? They are looking support from external sources. They are needing fund. Fund is not an issue right now. If your idea has been really an innovative one, definitely you can able to get a funding chances from the outside environment. Okay. So still there, there is having an enough clarity regarding with startup and entrepreneur. Okay. But now it is a time to focus on entrepreneur. The reason is that companies founded to develop a unique product or services. The company should be find out or to develop a uniqueness in a product or services. Then only all people can able to accept it. I don't know you people having an experience to uh, go for in shops and uh, seeing in the retailers and uh, choosing a product. Because 
you are being enjoying with the e-commerce site. You people are having all the benefit to enjoy with the e-commerce site. How this business has been developed in India? Did you think that the e-commerce business has been new to India? No, it is not new to India. It has been started in 1997. In India also, the startup is been, especially with e-commerce, has been started in 1997. But the company wouldn't be able to succeed that much. 1997 means almost 25 years old company, but they couldn't be able to succeed like Amazon or Flipkart. You know why? The reason is that that time the people doesn't have in any kind of technology on their hand or their surroundings or their environment. Because of that, they couldn't be able to develop their business. They couldn't be able to develop the business. So still it is in the starting stage only. The first e-commerce site in India is Fab India. Now it has been renamed with India Access, I think so, India Access. Fab India is the first e-commerce site. It is oh, launched in 1997, almost 25 years before, but still it is in the starting stage only. When compared to Flipkart or Amazon or with Mitra, it is in the starting stage only. What is the reason? I said innovative is always been succeed. Yes, I do agree with that. But the year of 1997, people are not having that much of technological technology facilities. So their business is having an innovative ideas. The business is concerned with some. Uh, uniqueness but the problem is people doesn't have any kind of access 1997 you just ask with the 1997 maybe the people uh, with that uh, specific year 30 or 25 that time the people doesn't have an email id also they doesn't have an email id also but at present okay if it is the condition how now it has been boom 25 years before, if you are starting any business, definitely it is being succeeded, like anything. But now, still it is in the initial stage only. Still it is in the initial stage only. After 1997-2007, Flipkart has been launched to India. 2013, Amazon has also been started in Indian operation in 2013. These two companies have been succeeded. But the company started in the year 1997 is not been succeed that much with the, compared with the Amazon or Flipkart. I'm just taking an e-commerce as an example. Why? What is the reason? Again, I said that people doesn't having any kind of access with technology, so they couldn't be able to succeed in the market. So when the technology is being developed in India? Okay, when the technology is being developed in India? Any idea? Okay. When the technology has been developed in India? I say manufacturing also, we are highly dependent on some other nation. And we are in need to promoting of business. We are in need to promoting of or giving an employment opportunity to the people. But still India is in struggle up to the period of 2010. That is up to 2010, still India is in struggle. There is a huge changes in the environment. For example, take it as a mobile. Okay. From that particular changes only, here in India, business is also been developed. 2010, Android version mobile has been launched. Okay. Mostly it is being started with Android version. Mobile has been launched with the Android version. Technologically, it is being worth for money products. There is no doubt in that. But people couldn't be able to use the entire features of Android. To, I'm talking about the period of 2010. Any idea why people are having Android version mobile, but they couldn't be able to use or accessing of anything. What is the reason? What is the reason? It is with network. It is with network. Because up to 2010, People have been using mobile as a communication purpose. If they want to go for a data pack, they have to spend more money. 1 GB data or 2 GB data cost around 300 rupees for 30 days. For 30 days, 1 GB or 2 GB data, I am talking about the cost, is 300 rupees. What is the condition now? It is totally free. 2 GB per day is not enough for the youth people. Population like you, the 2, 2 GB data is not enough to you. Because they have been doing surfing, searching, 
They are doing all kind of activities only with the support of mobile technology. So I said 2010, Android OS has been launched, but no mobile service, network service provider is not focusing on that. What kind of thing is being really needed for the people? Okay, up to 2014, up to 2014, very very few network services provider provider has been available in the market. Okay, they are all focused only on communication. They are never focusing on the other side of Android version. Okay, condition is going on like that. Okay, immediately Jio has been stepped in with the same business, same business. Telecommunication sector has been started by Jio in 2015. Here another thing is that in the same family, one his own brother has been lost a huge asset. Almost 72,000 crore has been lost with only one business. Anil Ambani has been lost their 72,000 crores only in one business. That is with Reliance Telecommunication. Okay. But after 10 years, maybe Reliance Communication has been started in 2002. After 13 years, the same segment is being, same business is being chosen by, again with the, another one brother in the same family. He is succeeded. Do you succeed in the market or not? It is succeed in the market. It is succeed in the market. But why they can't able to? Why this uh, brother is not succeed in the business? They also started 13 years before. Here they should be come with some innovative. They are come with some innovative. What kind of innovative is that? They should come with a reduction, not reduction, total free of cost network data. Only they have to pay data. Pay money only for data. Okay. That is the really wonderful thing in India happened. Because of that, all other business has been developed like anything. But the telecommunication sector has been bringing some kind of changes in the business environment. Due to that reason, it should be giving a spark for any number of business in India. Okay. 2013, Amazon has also been coming to the picture in e-commerce operation in India. But they also not been success. The reason is that people are having mobile, but they does not having a proper networks issues. That is network. Data pack, internet facility, they couldn't be able to focus on other things. Okay. Once all those things, technology, first thing is mobile technology. Mobile should be consumed to the technology is being coming to the market. It should be giving an opportunity not only for e-commerce, all those business can be comes line by line with the support of mobile technology. Okay. Talking more about startup, right? There is a different types of startup. There is a different types of startups. One is with scalable startup. The government of India is also want to focus or they have to promote in the scalable startup. Scalable startup in the sense with the only with the idea with minimum of investment. Minimum in the sense uh, definitely it is with crore. There is no doubt. Minimum investment maybe the 500 crores or 1000 crores. With that, they should be giving a more number of employment opportunity to the people. Scalable, within short duration of time. You know how many of them are working in Amazon? Direct employee is 140,000 in India. Okay. In, in the company has been started in 2013 only. Indian operation has been started in 2013. Direct employee is working in Amazon is 140,000. It is a direct employee. But it should be giving more than 40 lakhs employment opportunity with some subsidiary units. Because of Amazon, more number of suppliers is being connected with Amazon. Logistics company, you know about logistics. You are receiving every day with uh, some couriers. Okay, e-cart like that, delivery. There is a different blue car. There is a different uh, logistics. All can get the employment opportunity only with one start. Are you agree with me or not? Okay, Amazon and Flipkart has been started their operation <coughs> in e-commerce. It should be giving direct employment of 140 and indirect employment for more than 30 lakhs of people only with two startups. Okay, scalable. Okay. That is the only 
thing is being looked by the government of India also. The business want to be scalable. So today I have an idea, I start a business, but I am not providing any employment opportunity to any people. We can't say that it is not a, it is not a, it is not a good fact. The only thing is a very short span of time, they have to provide a huge employment opportunity to the people. Okay. And another one is with the large company startups. Okay. They are starting with the big companies startup. But when compared to the scalable, I am not sure with that uh, large company startup is not giving uh, uh, employment opportunity same like a uh, scalable startup. And what are the small start, small business in the specific area, locality, they want to show some kind of uniqueness like boutique or tailor made like that, they should be starting some kind of startups. And with the social startup, they are not focusing on with the generating of money, it is like a non-profit organization. They should uh, creating in some kind of awareness and through that it may be creating some kind of ideas about the business like that and to with lifestyle. Nowadays, uh, you know about uh, blog and blog, right? Blog, content writer, blog, video preparation, everywhere, start from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, they should be switched on their camera, they can capturing each and everything in that. How it is possible? Only with the technology. Okay. So, lifestyle, each and everything, it can be, it comes with the live telecast in the FB or in YouTube channel, everything is been possible. Through that, they also been earning money. And nowadays people, if they want to go for any kind of new places, they are focusing more on this blog and blog. The reason is that they want to know what is the special unique in this particular area. With the support of this blog and blog, they came to know that what kind of uniqueness in the specific locality, they have to buy the same thing. And buyable startup. One is scalable and another one is buyable. Okay. Buyable startup in a sense, here you have to work with, for example, Infosys or CPS is being looking for any kind of small uh, apps or something. Okay. If they should be starts with from R&D stage, who knows that it may take minimum of 10, 10 years of time to bring in such kind of uh, apps. Okay. If you came to know that this is thing, this thing can be going to rule in future in the software uh, segment of hardware, based on that you can start your ideas working on that and make it as a startup. You know that in 2016, Coimbatore startup, not in uh, Chennai, not in Bangalore, not in Hyderabad, in Coimbatore. In Coimbatore startup, the company is being sold out for 600 crores. In Coimbatore, the company is being sold out for 600 crores. The startup is being taken care by CDS. They are really need such kind of application for their business. So I said just now, if again you have to start with spending of time to bring such kind of apps and everything, Minimum time for such kind of solution, it takes 10 years of time. 10 years of time. So if it is the condition, they are not ready to go for investment of 10 years of time in R&D. So if it is the case, they just to pay 600 crores. Because 600 crores is not a matter for Infosys or CTS companies. So they are ready to take. They are ready to take the startup. They are not involving only their idea. Only their idea, that too sitting with the 4 or 5 members, sitting every time they are discussing and developing an app, that particular app is being sold, so, sold to Infosys, sorry, CTS. Okay. Simple thing. Their idea only marketable. The idea only be generating all money. Take it as of uh, uh, Indian uh, startup. Anybody knows about Ether? Electric scooter, Ether. Now it is been ruling the market. TVS is there, launch with this electric vehicle, but Ether is being comes with. They are starting their first operation in Hozur, Hozur manufacturing sector, Hozur. In first month they are manufacturing only 2000, okay, only 2000, okay. Their entire year, their entire production is been only with 24,000 vehicle. You know, at present what, how much they are targeting? They are targeting of 120,000, 120,000. If your idea has been, you know about uh, there is a plenty of opportunities in the market with the support of technology. If you are comes out with some kind of better idea, definitely you are one day you are going to rule the market. Okay. Take it as of Microsoft. How they are earning money? Only with the support of Microsoft. Remember, another 10 years or 15 years or 30 years, even they does not do any kind of things, the loyal money is more than enough for them. 
How this uh, Tesla? Tesla and SpaceX. Elon Musk. Now he is in the uh, world uh, number one richest man. There are two businesses concerned with innovative. Two businesses have been concerned with innovative pattern. One is with SpaceX, another one is with Tesla, and third now it has been joined with Twitter. I said about uh, Twitter, viable startups. Someone is being, Twitter is concerned with innovative, you know about uh, 3.5 lakh crores Indian rupee. 3.5 lakh crore is being spent by Elon Musk to take off Twitter. What is this? Only their idea, only their innovative ideas. Technology, based on the technology they are earning only 3.5 lakh crores, they are earning only with the support of ideas. How that uh, I said about Elon Musk, how they should become a startup? SpaceX. SpaceX. What is the specialty in SpaceX? What is the specialty in SpaceX? NASA is there. Everyone is there. Already some developer nation itself they can be doing some uh, decades of research. Okay, decades of research in space equipments. But they couldn't be able to succeed. But Elon Musk has done it. SpaceX. Simple thing. Weightless rocket. Okay. Weightless. Sorry? They should be concerned with weightless and reusage. What is the benefit of the weightless? If you are combined with more satellite, it should be launched with only one rocket. Simple thing. Oh, now come on to the next one. What are other business? Tesla. Driverless car. Electric. Hundreds and hundreds of years of uh, people are in manufacturing the car. They are not thinking about to EV vehicles. Okay. 20 years before also, someone is tried, they stopped it. They couldn't be able to succeed in the market. But Tesla comes with EV vehicle, that too with driverless. Driverless, I'm not sure that still uh, it is being succeeded. Still it is in uh, R&D only. But EV, once Tesla has been come out with EV vehicles, now you can take it as of all the brand, all the top car brands, is automobile brand has been comes with EV vehicle. That kind of spark has been created by him. Because of that, he has been a world richest man. Okay. And another thing is that, uh, prepare a startup. I think uh, in previous session, maybe they are taking uh, start this particular area. That is, uh, develop a right strategy. That is the first thing. You can take it as a geo. Geo. Develop your right strategy. What kind of strategy they are launched? Why I am taking geo as an example? Because that period, everyone knows that geo. Everyone knows that uh, that was the period of 2015. I hope you people are knowing about uh, what kind of strategy they have been chosen by them to launching with the network service provide business. Okay, it is not a service; it is also a business. When that particular geo has been coming to a picture, almost that time, Arcel has been playing a vital role in southern part of India. Each and every village they are having a business. Okay, they are having a business. But after Jio has been came to the picture, they are no more. But now only four network services provider in India. 140 crores of people is being there, but they are having in only four options. Either they have to go with Jio, Apple, VI or BSNL. Only four. Apart from that, no network service provider in India. Okay. So we have to find in a right developing a right strategy and investment in technology. That is the other thing. If your startup is going to be a boom or to go for the next level, you have to invest in technology. I said 3,000 crore is being spent by this Nizan. It is going to give employment only for 2,000 people. 2,000 employment opportunity. It is creating only 2,000 employment opportunity. But if you are saying you can take it as an Amazon or Flipkart, within a, a 10 years of time, direct employment is 1,000, sorry, 1,40,000. 1, 1,40,000 people can be uh, getting a job only with uh, Flipkart, sorry, Amazon. With the take it as a addition of Flipkart, it will be crossing around the 2 lakh. They are not investing much. They are investing only with technology. They just come with an app. They are not having a, they should be focused only on 3PL, third party logistics. Now they are moving on to 4PL. They just come out with only their idea. <coughs> People are using mobile. So if you are come with any kind of app, Everyone should be stick on with mobile. Obviously, they are start ready to purchase your product. Okay, so they are comes with investment in technology.
outsource non essential another important point is outsourcing non essential if you are thinking about all those things making under in one roof definitely it is your biggest problem okay what are the things if you are having some kind of uniqueness or innovative innovative things in your product or in your services we you just to strengthening it and focusing more on that okay what are the thing is being needed you just go for an essential thing is being needed you just go for an outsourcing i can go with an example of a car automobile most of the automobile industry having their own r&d for engine engine if they want clutch they want gearbox they want tires they want the disc they want to go with a skeleton all things are concerned with outsourcing or you are it or not i hope all are aware of it because if they want to spend more time on this designing of all those things obviously it, it is taking much more time and i don't know whether it is going to be succeed or not okay so you have to focus on your unique area yes i am strong in this yes i am strong in making of engine if i am strong in uh, r and d and bring some kind of changes in design you can go for focus on that work if anything is been essential please go for outsourcing essential thing if you are thinking about all those things you are losing your uniqueness you are losing of your uniqueness and other thing is with uh, improve marketing improve marketing you can take it as of e-commerce every day they are come out with uh, offers every day if you are go with uh, nowadays we are habituate even you don't have any idea to buy a product but you are visiting to amazon or flipkart uh, apps the reason is that every day they should be come out with new strategies every day they are having a different marketing strategies they want to bring in customers regularly to buy a product after this i'll go with some technology for everyone and improve yes improve reputations improve reputation is been highly essential for the startups because in initial stage initial stage if you are losing the uh, trust in the consumers mind or a customer those who are been ready to buy of your product definitely your business is not going to be scalable and with the i am the right people i am the right people all things are been go around with the technology oriented one okay all startup is been ready to work with the technology oriented one if technology oriented one means they are looking up here real time budding fresh bright they know don't want about 40 years of experience 50 years of experience people for doing such kind of things so technology related one means definitely for example we are passed out before 15 years or 20 years ug we are not that much strong in technical we are not that much strong in technical now you people are doing all almost all the work with the support of technology we are not aware in that time we are not having that much of awareness also so we are lacking so if you are talking about experience for technological development experience is no need no need of go with experience if you are comes with some technological mind skills that is more than enough to be a start and the final thing is make startup workable without you also that is the another thing if you are here or there not a matter okay steve jobs okay stephen hawking they knows and any any human being say one day they are going to be dead if all those things can be stick with or stuck on with only yours the who is going to be take forward if you are not in such kind of, you are not bringing uh, such kind of environment or atmosphere in your organization or in your startup when your day you are not there your business or your company is not there okay so if you are there or not take it as a uh, flipkart who is starting flipkart mini bars okay bars at present who is taking up flipkart 72 percentage of flipkart share has been taken care by walmart now who is the founder bars they are having only 3 percentage share their idea their strategy their technology everything is been created by them but now they are not in the company but still it is going on still it is going on so you have to create such kind of things if you are there or not doesn't matter your startup could it able to struggle if the person is there or not okay so you have to develop or prepare such kind of startup scale up come to the digital business startup itself it should be mostly focusing on digital 
The process using digital technologies to create new or modified existing business procedures, process, cultures and everything. Here if you are focusing more on digital, you have to think about three things, three components. The three things are employees. If the company has been ready to transforming a business from a traditional way to the digitalized one, they have to think about three. One is with employee, either the employee having such kind of knowledge, if the business is being going to the digital world or digital era. If employee is not having any idea about the digitalization, only you are having a vision and mission, but your employee does not having a strong idea about what is the digital transformation means, don't try such kind of things. Next is with business partners, I said, outsourcing of essential, business partners. If you are ready to work with digital things, you have to focus on the supplier or the person who are all being supported for other business. They are also been changing their strategy to go for a digital, then only you people can able to do the business. And third one is customer or clients. Customer or clients. Any product or services can be starts and end with customers. Okay, any product or services can be starts and ends with customers. Starts with need, ends with satisfaction. Starts with need and customer can be satisfied means, okay, they are feeling better with the products. Customer or a client. You can come for an example with the same e-commerce business. Employees. When this uh, Flipkart and uh, Amazon is being coming to the picture, why I repeatedly said that Amazon and Flipkart, all people are aware of these two. That's the reason I keep on saying the same. Employees, they are recruiting the engineers or technically skilled persons for doing their business. If they are recruiting 70s, 80s or 90s people for Flipkart or Amazon, still it is in the initial stage only. Still it is in initial stage only. So they know that they are working with the technology, definitely they need the person skill set which has been supported for developing the technology. And the business partners. Now, if, uh, now if with the support of Flipkart and Amazon, even if you want product from Kashmir, okay, you are in the south, tip of the India, if you want a product from uh, Kashmir, with the support of Amazon and Flipkart, you can able to buy it. Are you agree with me or not? Because they have connected the business partners like with the support of technology. They are connecting the business partners with Flipkart with the support of technology first. Now they are having 1 lakh clients, 1 lakh clients, it is very tough to monitoring and managing of 1 lakh clients. All things can be simplified only because of technology. Only because of technology it has been totally connected with the client, with the business, with the customer also. I said even people can able to buy a product from Kashmir, how it is possible? First they can be started, yes so also is order the product, where it has been available. First 100 km radius, no it is not available, 500, no, 1000, no, it is been available in Kashmir only, here from there, 5000 km, doesn't matter, they want to satisfy the customer. That is the only success for mantra for these uh, Amazon and Flipkart. On time delivery and customer satisfaction only the reason these two companies can be shining in the e-commerce site. Now come to the technology. Okay. Startup is always looking for new technology. Startup is always new, looking for a new technology. So people is having an idea. Okay. People is having an idea. But they does not know how to go for the next level. Okay. People having really having a wonderful idea, but they does not have it. How to take it for the next level. I hope you are all aware about incubation center, right? I hope in here also, I hope. In case also there is an incubation center is there, Congo TBA is there, PSG is doing very good, incubation center, they are doing very good. You can go and see there, you can go and see there, two people, three people can be joined together and work out with some kind of projects. They, still, they are struggling for bringing a prototype, next level from the prototype to the next level to go for the bulk, they are struggling, everywhere they are struggling, but they are never losing their hope. I said 500, 600 crores of company, startup can be sold out to that uh, uh, CTS. That startup is also been the idea from TBA only, PhD's uh, step. 
we can uh, simply call it as science and technological entrepreneurial part. Entrepreneurial part. The reason is that if anything is being started with the support of technology, definitely it is going to be success. Anything you can start with the support of technology, definitely it is going to be success. The first technology is mobile technology. Okay, mobile technology. I am not saying that mobile technology, it is comes with a mobile uh, revolution. After 2010, I said Android is being, manufacturing is being start with uh, making up an Android version. People also ready to buy it. But up to 2014, people does not know what kind of features is been available in Android version. The reason is that Android mobile needs data, internet facility to knowing about the entire features. But people are not having that much idea to go for separate recharge for uh, data and other things. But once Geo has been stepped into that, obviously entire thing has been changed. You know, out of 141 crores of population, okay, 80 crore of population has been start using of Android version. 80 crore people. Okay, out of this 80 crore people. 70 crore people having an account in WhatsApp and Facebook. Okay. So this is the biggest changes. This is the biggest changes in this environment. So now market knows that if they want to reach any information to their customer or their client or with the people, they are using this mobile technology for business. I said 2007 itself Flipkart has been having an operation in India. 2007. But the business is not been uh, shine up to 2013. 4 plus 3, 7 years they are struggling. The business is not go to the next level. It is not move on to the peak. The reason is that up to that time, the people those are being having a really access with internet. The way the people are residing in the uh, technology area like Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad. They are start accessing with Flipkart and ordering a product with the support of internet. But uh, rural like rural areas and uh, semi-urban and urban area doesn't have any, any kind of technology related things. So we are knowing about it, but we can't be able to buy a product. Even if I need a product, I just made a call to my friend uh, working in uh, Bangalore and uh, he only ordered product for me. I'm talking about the grid of 2010. But days goes on. 2014, I said, there is a bringing a mobile technology totally changed by Geo. Now, marketer, anything, anything can be launched with the support of mobile app. Definitely, they are having some kind of genuine market share in the market. You can open your uh, WhatsApp, sorry, uh, mobile, Android version. I hope in this seminar hall, almost all are having a Android version only. Okay, Android or iOS. Okay, in that, minimum 20 app is there. Apart from our regular routine app, minimum 20 app is there. Okay, Flipkart, Amazon, what are this? Minimum 20 app is being inbuilt in the mobile itself. So starts with mobile technology, it knows that it is being surveyed like anything and people also sticking with this mobile technology. Market are choosing a right area, yes. Now you can come with app which is being operated with the support of mobile technology. Then people can also be ready to use it. Mobile banking, digital transaction, GPay, PhonePay, Paytm, all those things with the support of mobile app only, we are start using such kind of options. Otherwise, if anyone wants to go for a uh, opening with this internet in a only uh, in a surfing area, net cap, this is going to be success? Definitely no. But now, open it. Immediately you can open with the support of mobile technology. That is the success. The next is with uh, IoT, Internet of Things. Okay. Before 20 years, internet has been available in a limited area. Before two decades, internet has been available in a very, very limited area. But now, internet is being everywhere. Even in your accessories, even in your accessories also, internet is there. IoT of Things, Internet of Things. All those things. You know that Philip is launching a uh, launch runner. Toothbrush. Okay. Philip is launched on toothbrush. The cost of toothbrush is 40,000 rupees. The cost of toothbrush itself 40,000 rupees. Only thing is that IOT. 
thing is that IOD. They know that if you are low with hard filtering of your brushing with your teeth, immediately it should be giving some indicator. No, you are doing very fast, go slow. Even if you are set it, automatically it should be clean all the teeth. Like that. Everywhere IOT, watch, IOT. Okay, mobile, accessories, Bluetooth headsets, everywhere IOT is there. Without internet, definitely, we can't do any kind of business. Even you can go for a petty shop, digital payment, internet of things, they are connected with the internet. Only reason is with IOT. Next is with uh, robotic. Robotic is playing a very, very vital role in uh, Automation and manufacturing sector. Automation. Okay. Automation, they are playing a role like anything because they are reducing the manpower. The manpower is being used for some other thing, some other purpose. They are assembling everything with the heavy metals or heavy equipment. All those things comes under with the robotic. And another thing is that robotic process automation. If you are going to feed, the last point, ninth point, robotic with automation. Amazon has been start delivering the products with the support of robotic automation. First, they should be feed where the robot is going to. If they are feeding the entire information is robotic, they start itself. Once the product is been scanned to that particular robot, they are taken to the client areas. So, why they should be comes with the, this many technological thing? Otherwise, they have to spend more money for the employments. So, the company want to reducing the operation costs. At the same time, they want to scale up it. Next is with artificial intelligence and machine learning. What is artificial intelligence? AI. Yes, I know that AI. What is AI? Artificial intelligence. Okay. Automatic process. Okay. If you just go and Google it, something, immediately within few minutes, your email inbox has been filled. Inbox has been filled. We just like that enter with that. But immediately you can receiving a huge bills because with the support of AI. If you go and travel with Red Bus one time, okay, one time you are start traveling with the Red Bus from one place to another places. Per year minimum you are receiving of 100 bills from Red Bus. Per year. Per year minimum 100 buses, sorry, mails can be received from Red Bus. Another thing is with uh, augmented reality. What is AR? AR you said that. Augmented reality. No? Augmented reality. You have an idea to buy your products. Okay, but you can't able to bring it uh, live into your home. How it is look like in your home. Okay. For example, if you are going to buy a wardrobe. Okay, wardrobe. This AU, that is with AR, sorry, augmented AR can be bringing with the product you can take as a area where you have want to place it. If I want to place that uh, any wardrobe over there, you just place the photos and you match with that wardrobe, you look like it either it is going to be fit or not. Just for an example, the particular thing is going to be fit here or not. Okay? Because we does not know after buying the product, place it, you feel that it is not going to shoot us. It is not going to shoot us. And another thing, if you are launch, uh, sorry, if you are check with this Flipkart or Amazon, we are zooming the product, how the stitches is, how many things are there, enlarging it. All things can be supported only because of the AI. Yeah, yeah. Big data and real-time analytics. Another biggest thing in this, big data. Okay, big data. So if you are running a small shop, okay, if you are running a small shop, minimum with uh, 100 clients, 100 customers, it is not that much tough to maintaining any kind of records. If you are dealing with very, very minimum people, it is not that much difficult to handle the people. But big data and real-time analytics has been highly essential for scalable startup. Scalable startup. You just go for e-commerce. You just check it, some product. After that, you are not ready to buy a product. From that moment itself, who are all supplying the same product with less, uh, less prices, they are keep on tracking you. They are keep on tracking you with the support of your mail ID, with IP address. Immediately they can start with tracking you. So that's what I think that big data and real-time analytics. Real-time analytics. How Flipkart is, sir? You know that once you can see that uh, pricing in Flipkart, especially in that uh, big day offer, 
media offer. It can be started with, for example, 25,000. Within six hours, the cost is 30,000. Another 12 hours, the cost reached to 35,000. The cost of the product has been reached to 35,000. How it is possible? The real time analytics. How many of them are keep on missing the product? From that to that moment itself, they know that this product is being searched by more people. Definitely, this particular target paper, 10 percentage is going to be buying this product. Obviously, they can start increasing the price of the product. I do experience with this. I just open it and seeing about that, that time the mobile cost is showing with 30,000. Okay, anyhow, three days this offer is there. We can buy it later. Next day, I am seeing it, the same mobile cost is with 40,000 rupees. How it is possible? Because they are using this real time analytics. How many of them are seeing of our product? How many of them are from which location? Big data and real time analytics can also be used by, this technology has been used by Swiggy. You know about Swiggy, right? All are aware of that Swiggy is having a, uh, providing only a, uh, providing only the food chain uh, delivery. They are having own kitchen. How many of them are aware of it? Swiggy is having their own kitchen. How many of them are aware of it? They have started, already started operation before COVID. They have started their kitchen in 120 places throughout India. Throughout India they started kitchen, 120 kitchen throughout India before COVID. Especially in Bangalore, cities like Bangalore, they are open with uh, more uh, kitchen. Only thing is that they should go with big data and real time analytics. They go with big data and real time analytics. Big data. They know what type of food is being preferred by Bangalore people. Sunday, they started with idli, sambar rice, like that. Sunday afternoon, they are looking for a biryani. That too, with, especially with same particular area, biryani. Obviously, they know that. Based on the calculation data, they started their own kitchens. Now, they are never depending on. But uh, at the time of COVID, they are also struggling like anything and they are uh, shut down 90 kitchens, that is secondary. How they can be starting such kind of business first? First, they have started with linking with the restaurant just the food delivery. Their business is only a food delivery. But days goes on, they have come forward and started a kitchen in a metropolitan cities like Bangalore. How it is possible? With the big data. Big data. You know that Zomato. Last week they have come with a statement, they are shut down their business operation in 225 cities because they are facing a loss of 300, 300 crores. 300 crores. And my student is asking, sir, they does not invest any money, but how they can be facing loss of 300 crores only in 225 cities? When compared with the price of shop, why people are preferring of Swiggy, Zomato or online market? The price is less. The price is less. They want always to come with a new marketing strategy. They are giving more offers. Because of that also some companies being failed. They are initially they are good in startup. Initially they are good in startup. But soon they are failed. Because they couldn't be able to go with their proper analytics. And digital pin. Digital pin I am not sure with this. Uh, it is not being highly supported for uh, e-commerce. But it is being supported for uh, aerospace aircraft and uh, big buildings designs. It is being supported with uh, digital twins. And uh, API based uh, artificial programmed uh, integration based uh, integrations API. It is also artificial. Same like the artificial intelligence. They are keep on focusing on that. And another is robotic process automation. Robotic, I said. In manufacturing industry, robotics can be playing a big vital role in that. So they are reducing their operations and cloud-based technologies. In robotics, in uh, logistics also they started with robotics. I said uh, Amazon is being started trialing with uh, delivering the product with the support of robotics. And another thing is with uh, cloud-based technology. What is cloud? Previously we can start, we, ha we have a habitat. We have habitat to uh, save a data. Either it is with Pendrive, CD, hard disk like that. But now, no one is not doing such kind of things. What are the things we need? We can get it from the cloud. What are the things we need? We can get it from the cloud. It is just, we have to collect the data and store it in the cloud. With this particular technology, Amazon is being earning 30,000 crores. 
30,000 crores only with the support of uh, cloud technology. Only with the support of cloud technology business, they are earning 30,000 crores entire globe. Because all are not having the same kind of technology. I said, essentially is being go for outsourcing. So, company is being ready to outsource like Amazon for using of cloud technology. So, these are the technologies being there. Based on that, they are starting a business and shining it. I have lots and lots of examples with each and every technology, but we can't be able to go with the entire things. And uh, you people having an idea. The dilemma that, sir, if you are having an idea also, how to start a startup? Who is going to be funding? Initially, no one is not ready to fund because you have only an idea. I don't know that uh, the idea is going to be succeed or not. People are not uh, ready to accept of your idea because they are having a number of questions regarding with your projects. So that time, it is very, very struggle to getting a fund from the any sources, not only public sources or private sources, any sources, it is really a struggle to getting a fund from any area. But if your business is being, your idea, not business, your idea has been good, definitely angel investors is been ready to fund for your project. Okay, angel investor is been ready to fund for your project. And
welcome Dr. G. Bhupalan Sir, Assistant Professor, Department of Business Administration, to introduce the resource person, Dr. D. Murganandam Sir, Professor and Head Department of Management, Bharatiya University, PG Extension and Research Center, Perundurai, to the audience about his achievements to the society. Sir, please, sir. Very good afternoon to one and all present over here. In this special occasion, I will warm welcoming in this my respected chief guest, Dr. T. Muruganandam, and uh, head and faculty members and my dear participants from various colleges. Once again, I heartily welcome to you all on behalf of ASR Rangasam College of Arts and Science Autonomous in the absence of you know, Vice Chairman in this special session. In this special occasion, I would like to Indra our today Chief Guest Dr. T. Murugananda, <coughs> MBA and Phil PG3 in Department of Management Studies and surviving a professor and head Bharadaya University PG Extension Center, he wrote, he has published three books and also published and articles in both national and international in various journals. He has presented various papers in seminars and he was produced a nine PG3 scholar and he is dynamic and eminent and a personality to mold the students in his career. Last but not least, once again, I warm welcome in the special occasion. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It is an uh, immense pleasure to invite Your next answer. 
Chief Executive Officer, KSR Educational Institutions to this August occasion. And I request our Honorable Principal Sir, KS Rangasamy College of Arts and Science, Autonomous, Dr. B. Radhakrishnan Sir, to honor Dr. K. Tyagaraja Sir, CEO, KSR Educational Institutions. Please, sir. Thank you, sir. I feel delighted to welcome Dr. B. Mohan, sir, Director, Administration, KSR Educational Institutions. I request your Honorable Principal, sir, KS Rangasamy College of Arts and Science Autonomous, Dr. B. Radhakrishnan, sir, to honor Dr. Mohan, sir. Thank you, sir. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. He, the personality who has dedicated himself to the betterment of quality of education, I am happy to invite Dr. K. Tyagaraja sir, Chief Executive Officer, KSR Educational Institutions to the stage and felicitate the session. <laughs> sir, please. Here. The blessings of our founder chairman by Dr. K. Sangasami and Dave. The all institutions are performing well. Most of the functions are being conducted by our all our institutions. So I'm really happy that his vision is getting on well. So the respected chairman of KSR Education Institutions through our Srinivasan in his absence here and the respected vice chairman and the directors of uh, KSR College of Arts and Science Autonomous, and the respected uh, director of administration, Professor Mohan, and the respected uh, principal of KSR College of Arts and Science, the autonomous uh, Dr. Radha Krishna, and the distinguished chief guest for the valedictory function, Professor uh, Dr. Omarvananda, the director of research for their university exchange center, and the respected head of the department of uh, MBA of KSR College of Arts and Science, Dr. Vanita, and uh, Mr. Bhaskar, who has addressed the, the welcome address, and Mr. Rajamanikam, who is here uh, for the valedictory, uh, the valedictory report, and the learned heads of departments of KSR College of Arts and Science, and the learned uh, faculty members, and the participants from various other the institutions, and also from our institutions the people, the, my faculty and the students from the MRC side, and the members of press and media, photographers, and all those are some here, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to associate myself in the valedictory function. I am really uh, sorry I could not attend for the, the, the inaugural function. So I was bound to attend the valedictory function on compulsion, right? Anyway, that the program is done well, and uh, I also have the pleasure in, uh, in joining uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Baskar in welcoming the distinguished chief guest, uh, <coughs> Dr. Murugan, who has come, uh, taken a session here and be consented to be the chief guest for the valedictory the function. <coughs> so one thing is uh, that you are used, your MOC has used to do many adjectives before name, right? And also sometimes it is after the name. So after the name that we put all our degrees, and before the name there are so many adjectives have been put. So the adjectives is a little difficult to conceive or so accept at some at times. But anyway, thank you for all your, the MOC who has done uh, the adjectives which you used before my name. So after the adjectives, that names can be changed. Right? So first thing is that the regarding this uh, program, Innovative Startups for Young Entrepreneurs in Digitalized Era, supported or sponsored by the Indian Council of Social Science and Research, 
and it is a very valid uh, topic and uh, organized at the right time. I would like to ask all of you the question, but you don't have to answer. But how many of you are interested to be an entrepreneur and also coming out as a these startups? So now everybody is uh, telling that we have to we have to have a startups. That is the startups are for the very old people, right? After full of experience. Now the startups in all institutions are uh, students are asked to uh, uh, take up the entrepreneurship and also the the startups. Why this is essential? Why it is now concentrated more on the students who are yet to be graduated when the, when you are inside the college? Can anyone answer this question? Right. <laughs> so normally. When we were all students, the people uh, come, we, we do not know many things. There are many, there are not many industries, and there is no social media, and nothing was available. There is no placement set. The first part is there is no placement set. We have to depend upon only the Indian Express and Hindu to know which uh, organization or industries is asking for really good graduates. Right? Getting say all are good graduates, but getting job is very important. So that entrepreneurship in those days, it has come only to those people, those parents who are really entrepreneurs, who has got their own family business, have their own industries. So some of for my friends, they are all have already they have a business in the line. So therefore, they have been very casual while taking the the, uh, the studies and also very casual. But of course, all of them have passed and they become really an entrepreneur. So it's a family business that kind of a thing. Particularly, you can see it in Coimbatore. Of late. I was also told and I also understood my statistics says even in Coimbatore, those people who are who have already come the uh, industries, they are also left their family and they are not to be an entrepreneur around with their own business. They would like to have a separate business or they have to take up a job to be happy in their life. Why that entrepreneurship has come now, it's more important is India needs a lot many of the entrepreneurs. And not simply entrepreneurs registered in uh, uh, the MSME or they have portal so and so company name some is put and put the names and then uh, to be lived to that, uh, live with that. So really that we need the startups and why that is necessary is that India needs for its economic growth. So we all have to be a part and parcel of that economic growth of our country and particularly in the in the recent technologies, how to update the technology, how to use the technology to come out with the certain products or to come out with certain ideas which would be very much useful to the, the society as a whole. As you all know that the we were all uh, the first generation graduates, I think most of you would accept all you are first generation graduates in your family, I am also the first generation graduate. And people sitting here also now, well, I took degree in 1976, my colleagues would have worked 77, or so and 79. And even now, there are many artists of first generation graduates in the, in the crowd. All that you, what it means is that our parents are not educated. They didn't have uh, either uh, the money to pay the fees or so they didn't have the opportunity to go to the thing. They, they might have married. Most of their parents might have married at a young age. So they have children and bring them up. Unless you go for a job, maybe 30 rupees, 100 rupees per day, they have to bring up their children. So now what happens is even that the most of you are first and graduate, you have got ample opportunities, the government which is providing to become an entrepreneur. And I also come to the title, uh, the thing, the innovative startups for young entrepreneurs in digital era. I asked actually, why this man, that is adjective is put on here, adjective. So it is uh, uh, innovative startups for young entrepreneurs, it should have stopped. Then it is added as in digital era. Digital era, everybody is having a mobile, everything is there in the mobile. So that digital era doesn't come here, but here the digital era, what I mean, I do not know our, our expert and then those some Guru Anandam have to say, now all your companies can be registered in the You don't have to go to Namakala or you wrote a district collector office or go and fill it up, sign, everything. Your signature is also now digitized. So you can directly fill it up, they give a number, they give a DHT and also whatever is necessary for the industry, they, it all comes on online, maximum 15 to 20 days. So therefore it is a digital era. The second part is that why it is a digital era is that there are lot of technology has come where for the, the really call if you look at the industries per se for us, so we are familiar with the textile industries in our area. In our area. There are a uh, number of tanneries are there, there are a number of uh, 
the other manufacturing industries like you know, mechanical side, electrical side, is all these things are there. Now all these, their operations is also digitized. So therefore, that we have to look at that what kind of industries we can start, where exactly you can put in your head to start uh, to become an entrepreneur or these startups. So in the startups per se, if you look at it, it becomes very, very simple. I think most of you, all of you would agree in the, in the software format, right? Computer science and uh, information technology. There are a lot many areas are there. There it will be very easy to become a startup in the, the computer science and the information the technology. Simple thing is that even for the startups networking area, right? Developing a simple software program. But GST, government also put that GST, that GST registration and also GST every month, 30 days they have to put all the things. That some people that develop software, it is also available in all the tea shops as well as in the people have become and they become, they make money and therefore that it becomes a startup. So why that you, that you young people at the, at, in the college, when you are in the college, the startup is necessary. I know that it is for the sake of the country's economic growth, but there are ample opportunities for anybody to become an entrepreneur. Day for yesterday I was addressing in some of the meetings in, uh, in Chennai also, uh, the things, that rather than the engineering graduates, so-called right? And also the, the people who are working in the industries, the arts and science students who are, who are doing it to become, uh, become, become CA in economics or BA economics, you are the most suited people who to to become an adult. Because you know that all these calculations, we, 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 we know to know what they are doing calculations. So you, you either do not know the technical part of it or you do not know the software part of it the thing, but you know how to manage this. Manage people and also manage money. Huh? So this money management is very important. Writing a good project proposal is very important. And also you can master people. People like us, you can also call us in common place. Most of you, when you are become to the MD or director of the college, please tell us that please you come, you please you do this so many things for me. I pay you so much. Right? So in this category that you are the most arts and science people are, as far as my knowledge goes, most successful artists. artists. The simple thing is that I know some people mean you know, that's what I do, I thought that I don't know how you don't know how I don't know how far you are. <coughs> Even investing money in the salary part of it, there are startups. Mutual funds. <coughs> Because most of you are in the mutual mutual funds, the investment, the engagement, no, you are not getting paid, right? So I told that my people, one of my known person, and there was a family friend, he came, and he came to the family friend, 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 so even that we, we do not know. So there are so many startups out there in, in those areas also. And apart from that simple business which you can do, so now the thing is that the, if you go to the hero market, the the money the the I used to wonder that people that I am so I, I really respect them. They are also using mobile, right? All this detail, all this detail, all this detail, all this detail, all this detail. Now, what happens is that you have to relieve the job of those people who are suffering in the field right, right from morning to evening and then complete everything. The first day, they are not aware of it. So somebody have to start the startups there, how to make business in this area. But thing is that we are not supposed to act as a middleman, deprive of all the uh, the income which they are supposed to get it without depriving them, we can also make it the startups. And small startups are also put in the position. If you look at the Dobby's job, right? Everybody wants to put their shirts on. And now, of course, the clothes are coming. The engineers are good in that and making how to put the shirts without ironing. Right? So, so, 
extremely close up. Now what most of the people like to be high class partners. High class partners. It's a very cost course. High class it means that it's high cost course. So that high cost it's necessarily is to be high. So now I live in a place where that I cannot find a good to own the goods. So only either I have to do or I ask my wife to fight it and please iron it and keep it I need tomorrow. This part. So how to overcome this problem? So this is the simple mobile startup which you can do. I don't ask that my graduates to do that, but you can organize some people you can to do, to do that. I was in United States, a simple thing. <coughs> for some time, only for 20 days, I never lived there. <coughs> I saw our, uh, our mobile uh, clinic. Okay, mobile clinic, injection of injection of water. So that mobile clinic lab, all the pets, cats and dogs, treatment, we just tell them that phone, 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 with, uh, phone the person and he will come, dress everything, haircut, give bath and then whatever injection is to be put and what is the prescription for those, how to, what to feel in the morning, what to feel in the afternoon and everything. See, it's simple entrepreneurship. Now I could see in most of the places in areas, there is no one to take care of those dogs. We buy dogs, which is also high costly, right, 5,000 rupees, a small puppy, and we don't know how to take care. So these are small things which you do. I do. I'm not saying that these are all could not be done. We have to start with the startup, with really necessary to have a good income to all of you. So the topic wise, I think that the I must really congratulate the principal as well as the organizers to chosen very good topics for me to feed all the young entrepreneurs who can come. Think of it is the only alternative for you to have a good life. It is not going to be the jobs, it is not going to provide you a good life after your graduation. So please think of it as an alternative to seek appointment with the companies. It is an alternative to prosper your family and also for you to do and you can club together, five or six people together, they can start with the startups. So they have chosen very good topics and not only the very good topics, I could see the experts who have been invited. I really congratulate all the principal and the organizers who have switched up on very good speakers so that they convince you. So I know that you know very well about your subject and the thing and the entrepreneurship is a valid alternative for seeking employment. To convince you is, is very, very is important. I hope that the, the seminar or the workshop for two days would have thrown light for you uh, that how to become an entrepreneur, what are the formalities to be done, and you must how to make a good, good business plan. That arts graduates are very, very good in that, making a good business plan. How to get the services of other people, how to get the technology, what kind of startups are necessary, at least five, six people form a group and go around the road city, Salem city or wherever you want to travel at least from your pocket money you have to spend money people don't give money for that but now the government may also give if you really wanted to become an entrepreneur selected government also give money for your travel and other things <coughs> travel across your states and also the other states pitch upon what is the real entrepreneurship we can really make it what others are doing so four people, five people combine together you just see the brainstorming session among yourself with the inputs given by the experts here and we please make it and try to form a small the company, register it faithfully, not a shell company as sometimes it was taken about in Kolkata, about the lakhs of companies, shell company, shell company. Don't do that, don't cheat the government, don't cheat yourself also. And form a group and see that what kind of entrepreneurship which you can make it. It may be successful immediately, sometimes it may take one or uh, two years, but nevertheless it is worth that time and make it So with these few words, I really once again congratulate the team and also thank all those experts who have come at the invitation of the organizers who have come and given the, and the, uh, the lectures here. And I must also thank them for all the participants. I think altogether around 1,100 students have participated in the two days of the seminar and about 50% uh, are from other institutions and the remaining 50% is from our institutions. And I really thank all of you for having taken part in the Right, I really thank all of you for, that, for having given a thought and attended all the sessions. Please give a thought that how to become an entrepreneur. Use whatever the kind of area that you want to be and 
see that we need like to see that the end of the That is to get to our college case as students. I give a time limit. After five years, most of the people who are here <coughs> must become an entrepreneur. We have become an entrepreneur. We are making so much amount of money and we have so many employees with us and see that this is our contribution to the country's economy. The in the statistics, we will give you garlandy in the big meeting. Right, Mahabar Sabay, Malayal Kala Gulagandi, Aplan Sabite, NGR, Rathla Parna, Sandra Mali, and the other way, you know, one of you, and what I'm going to do, and I'm going to walk with you, and I'm going to do. I would like to see all of you, most of you, not only our institutions, all the institutions, people who are participated, to be an entrepreneur after some time. So I wish you all the very best and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for sharing your words in an understandable manner. Leadership is lifting a person's vision to high sights, the raising of a person's performance to a higher standard. The building of a personality beyond its normal expectations. To run this institution of this magnitude, we need the dynamic leadership. Our institution heads by an energetic and passionate leader. May I now request the gem and the crown of the Vikas, the principal K.S. Rangasamy College of Arts and Science, Ajahn Namas, Dr. V. Radha Krishnan, sir, to address the gathering. Thank you, Mursi. I was just I was telling you to cut everything because I don't have to do it. Good afternoon, everyone. Dignities on the dais and off the dais. Normally, in a valedictory function, we see empty chairs. And we are bound to address only the empty chairs. But now, now I see academicians and the participants from various institutions staying back to see the end of the program. Thank you so much for being with us for the past two days and sparing your valuable time. And I must thank the resource persons for being with us, sparing their time. The idea was conceived by the MBA department and uh, a proposal was submitted to the ICSSR and the ICSSR has accepted that this is a relevant topic which is going to be beneficial for the younger generation. And rightly said by our beloved CEO, startups, it's a very good word, which makes you understand one thing. Nowadays, money can be created like anything because being MBA graduates, you must be knowing about the concept called cluster funding and crowdfunding. So money can be generated. What is needed is idea. So this seminar would have kindled you, kindled in you the uh, ways and means for, uh, what you can say, igniting your ideas that will be better for. The word digitized era is used because, as our uh, CEO has rightly said, he said we completed our uh, degree before many decades, but that does not mean we are old. Age is only a number, my friends. Okay. So, uh, in the digitized era, you get all the, uh, what you can say, support of the gadgets. So, you can, uh, connectivity is very easy. You are connected globally. So kindly ignite your idea and whatever you have got from the resource persons, please utilize it. Younger generations can come up. Just because you become a startup, just because you are going to become an entrepreneur, it is not that you are going to take care of yourself alone, but you are going to give opportunity for other people also. So creating employability is very, very important. And you are going to be one among that way means it's really good. So instead of becoming an employee, you become an employer, you become an employee. I'm sorry, uh, I'm using the word wrong, wrongly. So, Velay Kodupur Laha Marambudu. Velay Kodupur Laha Marambudu in the Natrude Mola than the Ningle Perkumudi. Mola than the Perkumudu, or Sariana Purla, the Tarchar, who became Nada and Nati Gurua Kamudi, Purla, the Rathay, member to the Mulamaha, Varandur Nada Hilaman, Badar the Nada, Valar the Nada, the Nati Matamudi, other kind of Sandar Pate, or I go for Raha in the seminar with Purtukume and all. எங்களுடைய நோக்கம் வெற்றி பெற்றது என்று கருதுகிறோம் நன்றி வணக்கம் for your instructive speech. It was a great experience for our institution to host such a great seminar session sponsored by ICSSR. On account of extending our gratitude to such a wonderful audience, I request Dr. M. Rajmanikam sir, Assistant Professor, Department of Management Studies, Program Coordinator of the seminar to present the value to your address. Good afternoon, respected Dr. Deyaraj Asa, CEO, KSR Educational Institutions, and Dr. V. Mohan, Director, KSR Educational Institution, and respected Principal Professor Dr. V. Radha Krishnan, 
KSR College of Arts and Science and Autonomous and good afternoon to all the HODs and my dear students. Today I am very much happy and honored to give a two days ICSR sponsored national seminar programs report. First day we start with the prayer song and the lighting of the lamp. We welcome address presented by Dr. P. Vanita and the principal KSR CAS honored by Chief Guest Dr. Yohanandam Professor Management Studies, Pariyar University, and Dr. Amit Verma, Assistant Professor Thomas, Kali Chandra College, E.G. Lagno, and Dr. Ramesh Kumar, Senior Manager, Products Limited, Bangalore. The book is released by our Management Studies in the title of Entrepreneur in Digital Eras, ISBM, published by Dr. Rajaram Mohan Rai. We are proud to have received more than 100 articles for publication. The total participants received from in our college 784, 784 and the other institutions 330. We have participants from various states, Mysore, Andhra Pradesh, Cochin, and Kerala, Chennai, and nearby our districts of Tamil Nadu. And the best academician award goes to Ms. Bhuja Yaman, Mysore University, Assistant Professor Thomas. And the best students of our Gautaro, Devadarsini, Kungo Arts and Science College. And very much I happy to thank to our principal and the ICS of Delhi and our management giving for wonderful support and the success of this program. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now it's a feedback session. Participant from other college can share their feedback on ICSR sponsored today's national seminar. Hello everyone, this is Pooja from the University of Mysore. I'm so happy 
to share my few words with you. And first of all, I think it's my privilege to uh, be a part of this function. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And many things I have observed in this college. So long ago, I went to the college and I went to the college and I went to the tech park and I went to the building cell and I went to the building cell. And students were very enthusiastic. They were really helpful actually. Thank 
Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure to call Dr. M. Bhaskar, sir, Head Department of Business Administration to honor Dr. S. Ramji, sir, Head Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, PA and BNI, K. S. Rangasamy College of Arts and Science. I humbly request Dr. Dr. K. Tyagaraja sir, Chief Executive Officer, KSR Educational Institutions to honor Dr. M. Prasanna Rajesh Kumar sir, IQAC Coordinator. <laughs> May I now request Dr. V. Mohan sir, Director Director, Administration, KSR Educational Institutions to honor Dr. G. Saravanan, sir, Research and Development Coordinator, KSR College of Arts and Science Autonomous. <laughs> now I request Dr. Now I request Dr. D. Murugananandam, sir, to honor Dr. B. Ganesh Prabhu, sir, Head Department of uh, Visual Communication, KSR <laughs> for technical support. <laughs> I feel glad to welcome Dr. P. Vanita, ma'am, Head Department of Management Studies, convener of the program, to honor Dr. Mr. Kadir Kirti Vasan, sir, technician, KS Rangasamy College of Arts and Science, Autonomous. Thank you, sir, for your full support on conducting this seminar. It's time for certificate distribution. To collect the certificates, we would like to call upon a person represent, representing their respective college. We request presenting from Mysore University to collect their certificate. I request Pooja M. from, from Mysore University to collect the certificates. Um, please. I request Dr. D. Murugananandam sir to present the certificates. I request a presenting from JKKN College to receive the certificate on behalf of the presentees from their college. To present the certificate, I would like to request Dr. D. Murugananandam, sir, to the students. I would like to request Dr. B. Mohan, sir, director administrator to present the certificate to the students from KS Rangasamy College of Technology. We request a student from KSR CAS, KSR CT to receive the certificate. We request a student from Sengundar Arts and Science College to collect the certificates. And to present the certificate, I request Dr. K. Tyagaraja sir to present the certificate.
I request Dr. V. Radha Krishnan sir, Principal KSR CAS, to present the certificate to call. Certificate to the students from Nanda Arts and Science College. Next, we would like to call upon student from Eno Arts and Science College to collect the certificate. I request Dr. M. Baskar sir to Eero Rajan Science College. We call upon a student from Padma Vani, Padma Vani Arts and Science College. To present the certificate, I would like to call upon Dr. K. Tyagaraja sir. I request Dr. D. Murugananda sir to present the certificates to students from Vivekananda Arts and Science College for Women. Of this seminar. 
I'm grateful to Indian Council of Social Science Research in New Delhi for providing financial grant to conduct the two-day national seminar. I would like to place my heartfelt thanks to Raja Ram Mohan Rai Publication for allotting ISBN to publish the seminar proceedings. My sincere thanks to our Honorable Chairman, Mr. Raj Srinivasan Sir, respected Vice Chairman, Mr. K. S. Sachin Sir, respected Executive Directors, Madam, Mrs. Kavita Srinivasan in their absentia. I extend my sincere gratitude to most respected Chief Executive Officer of KSR Educational Institutions, Dr. Tyagaraja Sir, for guiding us in all our endeavors. Thank you, Sir. I express my thanks to Professor Mohan Sir, Director Administration of KSR Educational Institutions, for encouraging us to organize such programs. Thank you, Sir. I owe my gratitude to our beloved principal, Dr. V. Radhakrishnan, for his meticulous inspiration and motivation. Only with his approval and motivation, we could be able to conduct the seminar successfully. Thank you so much, sir. I'm grateful to Dr. D. Muruganandam, sir, for presiding over this valedictory function and acting as the resource person for us. Thank you so much, sir. I thank all the resource persons of the seminar, Dr. Emit Verma, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Kalichar and PG College, Lucknow, Dr. Ramesh Kumar, Senior Manager, Product Management, Practicals, Private Limited, Dr. Girimurudan, Assistant Professor of KL Business School from KL University of Andhra Pradesh, in their absence here. I express my gratitude to the Chief Guest of the day and also my sincere thanks to Dr. S. Mahesh Kumar, sir, Head Department of Commerce here and Dr. S. Ramji, sir, Head Department of Commerce, PA and BA, for acted as session chairs for the technical sessions. Thank you, sir. I feel happy to express my sincere thanks to Dr. Prasanna Rajesh Kumar, IPSC Director and Head Department of Biotechnology for his constant guidance to conduct this seminar successfully. Thank you, sir. I place special thanks to Dr. G. Saravanan, Head Department of Biochemistry and the Research Coordinator of K.S. Ramasamy College Parts and Science at Genomas, who is the spark of the seminar and provided us the continuous support in every step we took. Thank you so much, sir. I express my grateful thanks to Mr. G. Ganesh Prabhu, Head Department of Visual Communications and the entire crew for their technical support in conduction of the seminar in a successful way. Special mention to Mr. Girtivasan of ISKCON department who helped us technically with a lot of patience. Thank you so much, sir. I thank all the heads and faculty members of various departments for supporting us in many ways to conduct this program. Thank you, sirs and ma'am. It's my pleasure to express most gratitude to all the participants and authors of various colleges from KSR educational institutions who have contributed their papers for the seminar. Thank you, participants. I thank Dr. M. Baskar, Head Department of BBA and the Organizing Secretary of the seminar for being more supportive for me with this team. We forwarded ahead and have accomplished our goal successfully. Thank you, sir. I'm fortunate enough to be backed up by a proactive and dedicated team who worked round the clock with me to conduct this seminar in a grand success manner. Without you all, this success is not a possible one. Thank you, team. I feel happy to express my sincere thanks to student coordinators and my dear students of BBA and MBA department for their dedication and team spirit to complete this program successfully. Thank you, students. Finally, I thank all the technical staff, non-teaching staff members, transportation in charge, hospitality committee, press and media people for their strong support for the smooth conduction of this program. Thank you all. If time is money, then these two days you have spent millions for us. Once again, I thank one and all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. We pray, we pray for all your blessings with all humility. Give us the wisdom to make this country a better place. To evoke the feelings of patriotism and remind you the nation's glory and beauty, I request you all to stand up to respect our national anthem.